Now I need you guys to listen up very closely because everything that I'm about to tell you in this video and teach you guys in this video will and can make you a extremely good trader, but you gotta follow the steps. You gotta actually listen to what I'm telling you and pay close attention. Because if you don't follow the steps perfectly, it's not gonna work out. But if you do listen to what I'm telling you, I guarantee you will become a profitable trader. Guarantee it. But you gotta follow all the steps, you gotta pay close attention, you gotta be willing to work. Because if you're not willing to work hard, you're not gonna get anywhere in life anyways. So just remember that. First things first, those are not stars. Think of video chat. Tools, they look back there. Those are not stars. That's an upside down triangle and two regular triangles on top. Anyways, let's move on. So first things first, if you're gonna trade Forex, if you're gonna trade- Oh, season, Leo, he been in the gym. If you're gonna trade anything, you gotta use a reliable broker. Now, if I get face tats, bro, my mom gonna kill me, bro. She's with brokers in the past. MetaTrader went down with a lot of brokers and there had to be like these different apps that came out. Some of them are just not that good. However, I have found the best broker literally of all time. Like when I show you this and I tell you guys this, if you guys want to be successful, you want to scalp, you want to get these killer entries like I do, well then make sure you guys use a proper broker like the one I'm about to show you. So as you guys can see, I have been- Go for promo. This month oh, no, less. more promo. The standard time is the only time you take an entry. You do not take one before that, and you only look maybe an hour, hour and a half into that oh, session to take that trade. Don't mess around. Get on there 5:45 a.m. Take a trade. 6:30 a.m. New York session starts. I want, Boom. I'm not. I'm not gonna hate, bro. Like time. everyone has That's own way of trading. Right? I just want to follow that rule. I just want to see how they trade. I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk shit though. Very, very important. Now, after you've decided, okay, it's 6.30 a.m. and I like the setup, here's what you wanna look for. You guys know how I trade. I've tightened things up a little bit, but it's very simple, right? Check this out. As you guys can see, it's 6.25 a.m. We cannot take a trade yet. However, when 6.30 does come around, we're gonna take a trade. Overall, I wouldn't say we're trending down. Wait, he lives in East Coast time chat or what's he, what's he referring to? UTC minus eight is what? What is this? UTC minus eight. West Coast? Right, yeah. Oh, but okay. if we do break Wait, this he from? LA? zone right here, I can move this up to show you, then we are trending to the downside, meaning we're probably going to look for sell. Cali? Right? Oh, now, shit. one thing a lot of people will do in breakout trades, such as this, they'll wait for the candle to close. Now, if you wait for this candle to close here, you need a bomb before going up. So, ooh. Missing out. Hey. You must understand that if you need a top before coming down close, to confirm that you're breaking you missed out right there on 160 pips. Now imagine if it would have closed extremely bullish down here. You could have potentially missed out on 550 pips. I don't know if you guys 550 know pips. What pair is this? Oh, US 30. Oh, 550 pips chat? 550 pips. I don't know if you guys understand, but that is a lot of pips and that is a lot of money you would have made on US 30. Now instead. And what I do is as price comes out of this support zone and we break, right? We start to break from this support zone. I take my short position as we break and then I just let the rest play out. That's all there is to it. Once I'm at about a, let's say one to two, then my stops will then go to break even. So let's say we got to a one to two, stops can go to break even and boom, the rest is history. Obviously in Easy. this instant, stops would have gotten Easy. tapped out just here. Like that. But again, that's one example and most likely that wasn't even a one to two to begin with. So I'm gonna move on and show you guys more examples, but it's very simple simple the way I trade. Very, very simple. And it's the same thing every day. So let's look at That's another w, example. Bro. That was There's the not chat. always going to be a support or resistance break. Sometimes you're going to have a trend line break. Sometimes you're going to have a trend line and a support break or a trend line and a resistance plan? break. All we need is a breakout to the up or downside every single day at 6.30 a.m. You need a top before coming down though. Past that. Here's an example. We have resistance. We have support, right? So if we draw this here, we have support. We draw this here. We know that. We know we have support and resistance. I will make this cleaner for you guys so you guys can kind of see exactly what I'm looking at. And I'll kind of take it from the top. But again, you have resistance, you have support. It is currently 6.30 a.m. We still are creating resistance here, so we haven't had a breakout yet, but we also have trend lines. Check this out, boom, trend line, and again, trend line. But again, when we see this trend line break, we can take our short position, or if we see the support break, it How really many depends you what. That is crazy. Good job, sir. You're comfortable with. Some people don't like to trade the trends because they feel like they want to see a support break for that, you know, extra confirmation. Right here, we start to break. Take your sell position. So we would have already entered on this candle. Even though it retraced a little bit, we already entered because we started to break right through that trend line. Now you could have waited for the support to break as well. If you want to be very careful and then took your sell position here, you would have missed out on a few pips, right? So I like to get in early. I like to get in fast and I like to get out fast. But again, on that break, I took my sell position. We're past 630. We know we're in market. Wait, but what about missing out on the extra? Oh, miss you on the extra 7,000 pips here. I thought we don't miss on the 7,000 pips. Oh, there's volume. 
and the rest was pretty much history. We fell, came back, retraced a little bit. This one took a while to hit, but again, eventually it did hit take profit. This was for 150 pips. Now I'm catching moves like this every single day, and not only am I catching moves like this every single day, and obviously as you guys saw, Goddamn. making 300K in a month, but I'm literally live trading now. I've never done this before, but I decided to start live trading with people every single day. Now in this live trading room, I literally take every position, like as you guys saw, every position that you saw me make money on, I also took in front of thousands of people, and as you guys can see, we can go through reviews, People are extremely happy. Great investment. Great investment. Positive if you need to. But even better. Yeah, bro. I get a lot of hate. Profits. Now, this is where things All are. I get are negative testimonials. Crazy. Every single day, you're going to see mad blue screens. Mad Every blue screens. Every single day. And this goes bro, you on. You know what you do, chat? For real, this is a good idea. I just thought this right now, though. But maybe write this down. Um, bro, imagine we had on stream, like a, a section in the Discord on stream profits and losses for that day that'd be sick because then everyone sent their blue screens or everyone sent their red screens that day that'd be sick that's a good idea let me let me, let me actually make that right now in a discord channel let's go to discord let's go to hmm, trading um stream profits okay the under yep. so stream profits so going every day been open for almost a month or over a month now we haven't had not one losing if i keep going only screenshots there i think i'll, I'll make a rule or whatever that's w though forever this is w video w idea day. so imagine if i keep going every day look at the us 30 wins every day we win i mean we literally are on a roll right now i don't think we've lost and god we haven't had a losing day since we've started we've been open for almost a month or over a month now we haven't had not one losing day. Will we lose a trade? Of course, you're gonna lose trades, but those re-entries are fire. Just fire. Look at that GJ as well. US 30. It's getting so laggy. Mom FX or click the link. And it's a current a lot trade. There's All right, want I want I want to see more more um I want to see more uh strategy. It is an option. Now let's get back to some more examples. So here's a buy example of a trade we took on US 30. Ended up catching a thousand pips, and Whoa. it did happen in the span of about Is 30 that a minutes. Wick? So a really solid trade. So anything. Sorry, was that? I just need to see something real quick. Was that a wick chat? Three minutes. So a really solid trade. So anytime we trade, happened in the span of about of a trade we took on US 30. Ended up catching. What was this? Are these candles here? What is this? A thousand. What is this? What was that? That's like ghost pattern, <laughs> bro. What is that? Projections? Is that is that is this some type of indicator? Pips, and it did happen in the space. I've never seen that in my minutes, life. So a really solid trade. So anytime we trade, there's a couple things that can happen. Okay, remember that it's a buy or a sell. That's it. Trading a pat. We can we watch have to it. I don't know, the I don't know a lot of that videos. day, and if they consolidate, we might take a loss, or we might so just good. not trade First at all. But screen. again, our objective is to find out: Are we buying today, or are we selling today? Now, check this out. Overall, we are trending to the downside. So, of course, it would be nice to see a breakout right here tool? Uh, the support to the downside, so I can take sales. I know that we're having we're having good pushes. We see it coming down, but session didn't start till about now, and I see volumes coming Finally. in. But I want to see this push down here so I can take my sell position. However, you must understand market structure is a real thing. You see, we're going lower lows, lower highs, true, lower true, lows, true, and lower highs. I like that. And again, lower lows. Lower However, if this candle starts to break below, or I should say above these previous support zones slash lower lows, Thank it's you. now a bullish market because now what we would see is something like this: higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. Okay. Does that make sense to you guys? We are creating lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. But again, this is our previous low right here. So if we close above that or we start to move above the previous lows, there's no more previous lows. I mean, we're now at previous highs. So again, once we break above that, we're now creating higher highs, higher lows instead of lower lows, lower highs. Okay, so remember that at all times. As price starts to push right here, guess what? Look at it. We just closed above, we started to move above. We are no longer in a bearish market. This is now becoming bullish because we're closing above our previous lows. Guess what? Now we can take our buy position because not only did we do that, we have support, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 touches here for support. 